Alright, what's good YouTube? It's your girl Bofina1 bringing you guys yet another YouTube video. Um, today I'm sitting in my car. I'm getting ready to go do some homework actually. But I got a, um, what do you call it? Let me put this like kind of on my lap. Yeah. Well, I got kind of like a, um, a follower wanted me to discuss do I feel that YouTubers should receive like higher ad revenue? And for those of you who don't know, there's been a whole bunch of issues, you know, in terms of like the ad apocalypse with, you know, you got bigger YouTubers and smaller YouTubers, upcoming YouTubers are having problems with basically being able to make money. You know, people have lost so much ad revenue. Some people were getting maybe $10 every thousandth view and now they're only getting $5. You know, they've been cut in half, which is still a lot of money. But if you think about it in general, you know, that's a pretty huge cut in terms of pay you know so let's say he's making a hundred thousand a month now you're making fifty thousand fifty thousand is still a lot but especially if you have a corporation or a business that you've built off of a certain budget and now you're not able to make that budget so you know it's it's a lot of stuff like that that um you know is an issue but do i feel that youtubers should they in a sense um what do you call it should they uh receive higher ad revenue i guess it really just depends on the channel you know and how much money are you making because there also comes a point too with a lot of people is just greed like you know like almost like what people call like basketball basketball players you know how they get these million dollar contracts and they get you know all this money but it's like do they really need all of that money necessarily live you don't need 20 million dollars to live you know what i mean so and like these youtubers making millions of dollars a year you know they may be making two three million dollars a year you don't realistically need two three million dollars in a year to live um, you can live very comfortably, you know, with $100,000 a year, you know what I mean? So, in terms of do I feel that YouTubers should receive better ad revenue, you know, I don't know. It, it all has to do with, to the genre that you're in. What genre are you in in terms of the YouTube's algorithm? Certain genres just make more money, you know. Um, more kid-friendly content makes more money. Content that's not expressing, you know, vulgar language and stuff like that. That type of stuff makes more money. So I feel like it really just depends on the type of content that you're making and how does it appeal to uh, the YouTube's algorithm. Um, but I do think there should be some type of level playing field of how much money YouTubers make or their CPM. You know, there should be a, a level. I mean, I get some people can make the argument, oh, well, why should someone that just started make the same amount of money as someone that's been on YouTube for years making better quality content? But I mean, in terms of level, I mean, I think there should be, you know, almost like minimum wage. You know, everyone should be making at least that amount, if not more. And I think that YouTube should have that. I think they should make like a, a, a standard CPM. Because people's CPMs go up crazy, up and down, left and right, you know. But um, yeah, to answer, to answer the question, do I think YouTube should receive better ad revenue? There's really no yes or right, like right or no answer because it really depends on your genre, the type of content you create, how frequently you create. So it's really more so the algorithm, you know, because if someone that's making one video once a month and they're getting, let's say, I don't know if this is even a realistic CPM, let's say they're getting $15 per thousandth view, right? And then you got someone who's putting out videos daily or even not even daily, maybe just two, three times a week. You know, they're grinding, they're, they're consistent, right? And they're only making $6. Yeah, that person making $15, they may make better videos, but I still think the person that's putting out multiple videos a week is probably practicing more. They're practicing their craft more. You know how they say practice makes perfect. Well, if you're making multiple videos a week, you're practicing that craft where that person only making one or two videos a week. I'm not saying that their videos can't be good, but you get what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I mean, those are just my thoughts and do I think the YouTube ad revenue should go up. I just think there should be a standard. I think everyone should start at a certain level and depending on, you know, the area that you're in, depending on the content that you make, I think that de should determine, you know, if, um, basically if you, uh, get higher, a higher ad revenue, you know? Uh, but anyway, YouTubers really shouldn't be depending on ad revenue anyway as their only source of income. I mean, they take what, like you only get 56%. So you brilliant, they already take damn near half of your ad revenue, you know? So yeah, I mean, those are just my thoughts on it. Um, I'm going to go do some homework. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll talk to you later. Peace, Fen Army.